It looks like it's time. There's the clock on the wall. Yes, sir. Yep. My, my, pho my phone says it's within seconds. Now I got a few stragglers coming in. Alright. Are you ready? Yep, ready. Okay. Morning, everyone. What a great day to be in the house of the Lord here in cloudy downtown Murray, Missouri. I hope everybody's had a great week. Got a little rain. So maybe now I'll kind of give the wheat a little chance to come up. And as the wheat grows and sprouts and, and uh, produces a crop, so we want our faith there to produce a crop there for the Lord God Almighty. And we're going to start off by singing some songs and doing some responsive reading. Right. <laughs> Good morning, Grandview Baptist Church. It's good. We've been getting rain. It's a little cool, but that's that time of year. So you autumn lovers, I'm sure, are in love with the weather right now. So it's all right. Well, friends, if y'all please stand in honor of our Lord and Savior. This morning, we are going to uh, start with a responsive reading on 615, 615, and a twinkling of an eye. <clears throat> As I was preparing for hymns this Sunday, I was huh, heavenly minded. I'm sure we're all ready to, uh, for the Lord to, to shout and call us home, yes, sir. Uh, especially amidst all the chaos of the world today. But we're still here, so that means we still have work to do. So, um, 615, 615. <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> Brothers, I tell you this, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, and corruption cannot inherit incorruption. Listen, I am telling you a mystery. We will not fall asleep, but we will all be changed. In a moment, in a moment in a of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we will be changed. Because this corruptible must be clothed with incorruptibility, and this mortal must be clothed with immortality, now when this corruptible is clothed with incorruptibility, and this mortal is clothed, clothed with immortality, then the saying that is written will take place. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your sin? Now the sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. And thanks be to God, who gives us the victory over our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Friends, yes. turn back to 600. Yep, 600. When the roll is called up yonder, we will be doing all three verses. There.
morning, folks, as we turn over to 604. 604, shall we gather at the river? And uh, this will only allow us three verses, so we shall do one, two, no, I'm sorry, one, three, and four. <clears throat> one, three, and four. Three, and four. Isn't it good to be in the house of God today? Amen. Boy, we read about that river last week, didn't we? didn't we? Ezekiel was given that vision of that river flowing out from the throne of God. And the Lord showed him that we don't want to just go ankle deep. We're going to gather there for sure, but then we're going to get on in, aren't we? Amen. Ankle deep, then knee deep, then waist deep, and then plunge. And that's where the blessings are. Well, good morning to you. Kind of a packed house today. Good looking group. And uh, we're going to continue in worship just now. Let's have a word of prayer together before we go any further. Father, it is a very good morning and a good day to be in your holy house. And we have come to worship, Father. And as we lift up our, our voices and our hearts, we pray that you will receive our worship and that the Holy Spirit would be here to rain down upon us, Lord, in your presence, uh, soaking the, the, the seeds of the word that are going to be planted today. And Lord, we just want to pray that we would be changed and changed for the better because we have been here and we know your word accomplishes just that. So right now, Father, we want to open up our hearts to you and pray, have your own way today, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Who's got a testimony they want to share this morning? Okay, don't everybody stick their hand up all at once. Yes, Jamie. So um, the other day I was I was praying before work that God would open up, you know, since I work from home, it I don't get to be around anybody, so I'm always praying that God would open up and a door of opportunity for me to share the gospel with my co-workers and we have a client actually in Montana and I needed help on something so I called them and the girl that I was talking to just started sharing with me about her life and um, and the hardships that she was going through and I got to share with her how Jesus has has changed my life and so I'm just praying that, you know, that seed 
was planted, that mm -hmm. God will now water it and make it grow. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you for sharing that. That's absolutely right. You never know when those opportunities mm -hmm. will present themselves. Well, it's not a praise for GBC necessarily, but it's a Operation Christmas Child praise. Prairie Grove has been packing shoe boxes this week. They've had kind of a week of packing party. I guess they just set up everything and then they came to their days. They were able to pack over 1,800 boxes. Ooh, so, ooh, all right. Um, they're on our tails, guys. <laughs> Each, each box packed with prayer. All right, thank you. Anybody else? Sarah in the back. John, uh, I got to be middle school this last Wednesday, and it was actually very good blessing for me. I actually got to go see Miss Jean, Jean Finley, for once, delivering a meal out to her house. So that was a very good blessing. I was just asking about her and seeing how she was doing. <clears throat> So, that was the life blessing for me. All right. All right. Anybody else? I guess everybody knows that Brother Phil look, uh, looks like he's going to get out of the hospital today, and then he's going to have to make this long trek back down here to Missouri to continue his, his therapy and everything there from, from his motorcycle wreck that he had. He said he's walking out. Yeah, he said he, that's exactly right. Yeah. He said he was going to walk out, yeah. you know. That's right. Yeah. Wheeled in and walking out. I know. There's some hospital protocol that won't let you walk out. I bet he does. What do you bet? I'm going to find out. You know? <laughs> Anybody else got any other praises? All right, well, let's keep singing there, Brother right. Isaiah. Well, friends, y'all may receive, remain seated for this one, which is uh, 603-603, when we all get to heaven. Uh, we're doing all four verses on this one. So, Darren, go ahead.
church. Build the bed. 